Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Elise and Blush. My name is Suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So, uh, this is the bookish box for April of this year of 2023. Um, so still <laughs> very behind since we're now in October. Um, I think I have this box, the May and the June box. I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm getting the June box along with, I think I just have one special edition book left, um, that's coming from them. Um, and then my boxes stop. I am, um, <laughs> going to hope that maybe that gives them time to catch up and then I'm going to start again, probably in November, maybe December. Um, I'm going to kind of keep an eye on see if there's like a book that really gets me and then dive back into getting the bookish boxes but since I was unemployed over the summer um I took a break from bookish box so I definitely don't blame them for like being delayed I know they're trying their best to get things you know moving and going um and everything but um also you know it is kind of crazy that I'm just in, you know, in October 1st today, getting the April book, um, or April box. So I get the adult box. If you've watched these for me before, you know, I get the adult box. I don't get the young adult anymore. I used to, um, but it's just not my vibe. If they ever do a box where it's the adult goodies and the young adult goodies together, I would 100% do that and then just like get the adult book on the side um and then if i'm interested in the young adult book get the young adult book on the side but like definitely for the boxes for me adult just because of the book because you can't get the goodies separate from the book so i need the book the adult book is <laughs> is where it's at for me otherwise it'd be just collecting young adult books that i'm never going to read um which is fine i mean I guess I could start a young adult collection, um, but <laughs> that's just unread books. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how I feel come November, December timeframe if I if I go back to both or just the adult. Um, but I am so excited for this one. So let's dive into it. And I think I'm going to switch things up a bit. Again, if you've watched all my other uh bookish box unboxings i usually do like the goodies first and then do the book last but i think i'm going to switch it up and do the book first um but yeah so again if you're new to bookish box you can get the book and goodies just the book you can get the young adult and adult book together only so just the two books together so you get at least both books or you could get book a t-shirt and goodies um again i don't do the t-shirt one i have too many shirts to begin with, to get a new one every month, <laughs> 12 new ones a year, I don't need 12 new t-shirts a year, so I just keep an eye out at their regular shop and purchase the ones that I really like, um, but books and goodies is where it's at for me, um, so yeah, and then the, you know, goodies is always different in the young adult box, so here we go. So this was the young adult box. So we'll skip over it. But it's theme was Wicked Woods that month. And they kind of talk about the box here. And then to the adult box. So Dreamy and Steamy Retellings is the April box. And I was so excited when I saw that theme. Because I'm like, yes, I love Steamy. <laughs> and I love retellings for sure. Like, you know, a Kotar gives those Beauty and the Beast vibes like you've got i love the lore olympus um series i love the uh let's see what other all all, all sorts of olympus retellings um i love let's see oh what was like the hades and persephone retellings there's um oh my gosh why i'm blinking on everything um midas retelling like that has turned into an absolutely phenomenal series that went in a direction I definitely did not expect and it's wonderful it's amazing um so yeah like they just took this one piece of like Midas and then just 
went crazy with it and it's amazing. But anyway, so I'm loving retellings right now. Um, and yeah, so I'm very excited for this one. So we'll go into the book. So feature title is Wings Once Cursed and Bound by Piper J. Drake. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut open the bubble wrap so we can get in here, not stab myself with scissors. Oh, so beautiful. And I love when they do this, when they do like hard bound with no protectors. Like I, I love them too because they're usually so beautiful and they do such a good job with them. But like at the same time, I'm just like too many options. <laughs> So I like when they don't give us a, uh, what am I trying to say? I have just lost all words. This happens to me so often too. I just am not one for names, the names of things, the names of people. I did names of songs, movies. It just never sticks in my head. I never remember names um, or like what we call things. But you know what I'm talking about. The sleeve. The sleeve that goes over the book. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I do enjoy when they don't do that. And they just go over the top with the hardcover. Because this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. So Wings Once Cursed and Bound. Piper J. Drake. Let's read. My Wings Unbound. I am the Thai Bird Princess. The Canary. Canary? Canary? And no matter the cost, I will be free. Bennett Andrews represents a secret organization of supernatural beings dedicated to locating and acquiring mythical objects, tucking them safely away where they cannot harm the human race. When he meets Pirafen Ratana, it's too late. She has already stepped into the red shoes, trapped by their curse to dance to her death. But Bennett isn't the only supernatural being looking f supernatural looking for deadly artifacts. And when the shoes don't seem to harm Pirafin, he realizes that he'll have to save her from the likes of creatures she never knew existed. Bennett sweeps Pirafin into a world of myth and power far beyond anything she ever imagined. There she finds that magic exists in places she never dreamed, including deep within herself. Retail value $38. Okay. So I'm, it's really giving me the vibes. Oh, I love that sound. Oh my gosh, this inside is beautiful. I'm trying to see. Oh, there we go. There's the signature page, also gorgeous. There's Miss Drake. Oh, she lives in Seattle. I am close to there, okay. So, I was kind of hoping to get a hint as to what retelling this is for because or maybe this is not a retelling. Oh, it's a series too. Good. I will get multiple books out of this. Okay. Miss Wilburn series. Oh, is it? Wait. The next tale in the middle of an... Oh, okay, okay. Trying to just well too much for us. But I just wanted to see... So I'm I'm thinking it's a retelling. I mean, the, the shoes dancing to your death thing sounds really familiar. But it's not like the 12 dancing princesses, which was my first thought when I heard dancing shoes. So what, I'm wondering, yeah, I'll have to look into that and see, see where we're at with that. But, okay, so we have the printed signature by the author. So the naked <laughs> foiled hard case art is by Ian Dot MacArthur, um, at Ian Dot MacArthur. Um, this is seriously though, like this is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. You got the bookish box symbol down there. I just love, see, then this is going to be the hard choice for me to make. Do I display it like this or do I display it showing the book? Like, how do you display it? Because this is just gorgeous. 
um, and then you have the stenciled edges also by Ian MacArthur and then the illustrated end papers also by Ian MacArthur so same artist did all of this and then the dreamy retellings art there um was done by at creative wannabe underscore um so just in case you were interested in that but i'm very excited it seems like a really short book as well only like 280 pages or so 288 pages so that's not bad at all so very excited about that okay so now oh i'm seeing things i'm excited about okay so now we're gonna dive into the monthly items. I'll keep this actually right here so I can read what it says. So first we have the candle and this beautiful eight ounce Lore Olympus candle is the first candle to be featured in our adult box for the year 2023. We absolutely love Rachel Smyth's retelling of Persephone and Hades. Enjoy the sweet and zesty aroma of citrus agave label is designed by the amazing at tabby stevens underscore art retail value 25 dollars. i absolutely love this box too i'm absolutely adoring the the lore olympus series so okay And we have, oh, I love this. And that's it, like very, very simple. And it, like, I love that it really has no words on it. It's giving all the Hades and Persephone vibes, you know? But I love that it's like just that. So you could display it and no one would know what it's from except for you. I love that. It just has citrus agave on it on the top. And it's a, yeah, it looks like it's just a regular wick, cotton wick or whatever. Oh, that smells really good. Very citrusy, definitely getting that agave. Mm, I was almost getting... No, I think that's, yeah, it's just all, like, citrusy. Mm, very, very nice. Definitely a good summery, springy candle. So, I love that. Super pretty. I'm actually probably going to take that to work because I can display it. And, again, there's no way to know what it's from or anything either. So, work appropriate. Ah, I'm knocking stuff over while I'm trying to reach for things. Okay, so... Next, we have, like, this bag is life. Um, so the artist for this is at Bones and Gardens, and I'm just, like, again, life. And I'm beyond ecstatic that I'm about to have a Court of Thorns and Roses pillowcase. Like, ugh, I love throw pillows, and I have them everywhere. Like, well, not everywhere, but I have them, like, I don't even know, like full, like six of them on my couch and then another like six on my bed. Like definitely will get use of this. Okay, so we hope this throw pillowcase inspired by A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass brings you sweet dreams designed by the lovely at Bones and Garden Garnet Gardens. I think they just spelled it wrong over here. <laughs> I was like, Gardens? <laughs> is that on purpose? Like, but I think it's Gardens, Bones and Gardens. Uh, retail value is $23. Let's see. <gasps> oh, it's a nice soft one too. Okay, put the bag down there. I like want to keep that bag though. It's so pretty. Okay. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, I love that. So we have crescent moon and a flower and then like the roses and wolf definitely giving me very much like the first book vibes but I love the color toning in this like the edges even kind of look like old 
paper like I don't know if that's coming across but like the color of this looks like scroll paper you know like it's just giving me like you found this page in a book uh, like a mystical book or something but I absolutely I love all the stars this is so so pretty this is huge too so I'll have to see I don't think I have a pillow in my bedroom that's this big so this will probably go in my living room or in my bi pillow to go because I do have my Rizand and Feyre um, throw blanket from Bookish Box in there as well. So in the bedroom. So I would love to have this in the bedroom too, but oh, I'm like so excited. Okay, so next we have a storage bag. We're thrilled to finally have this storage bag inspired by this month's read wings over cursed and bound by piper drake so this is literally for the book i love that they're featuring items for the books that you also get um so you know if you become obsessed you already have a little goodie to go with that book um okay so designed by the awesome ian MacArthur again uh retail value is 18 dollars. so the same artist who did the book did this bag Oh, this is awesome. It's like the little travel bags. This is perfect because I'm literally going on a trip to Vegas. And I need all the bags I can get. I'm gonna like, okay, here, I'll unzip it. So just black zipper and handle. And then the design on the bag is the same as the book. And it's just a plain black bag. But this is perfect, like, toiletry bag. Love it. Very, very excited about that. I needed bags, like I'm not even lying. I needed some more like travel bags. And yeah, here we go. Now I'm getting it to kind of stress out, be more bag-like. <laughs> but yeah, I like it a lot. I like that as a handle. There we go, love. Okay, so then we have the earrings. Oh, again, so excited. Okay, so. We have, oh, it's like, are these earrings? I can't even, yeah, because they don't look like a necklace. Okay, so these arrow earrings will make you look like the goddess you are, inspired by Daughter, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. I still need to read that book. Uh, designed by the Bookish Box, and the retail value is $12.00. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this open. Okay. So. I just want to see. Okay. Oh, so it's like a double dangle. So you'd have like it dangling down one end and the other. These would be perfect for like a cosplay or something. I feel like I would be kind of scared to wear them by themselves because like just I'd be afraid they're like are like for every day you know because they're falling I was like holding them in a way you guys probably weren't able to see it but um I definitely would be worried that they would like fall out um throughout the day or if I'm like messing with my ears or getting caught up in my hair but if I was like doing a very specific kind of cosplay I think I would these would be absolutely perfect I'm actually thinking of doing a my Halloween costume and this could go perfectly actually for that as well for one of the earring sets I wear that could work okay I love it all right such really cool stuff like at first I was like what is that jewelry wise I thought it was a necklace or something but that's so unique okay and then we do have so we do have this the dark king which I thought was from I think that was actually last month's book so I'm kind of curious if there's like a note or if I missed something like if that was supposed to go with last month and it was missed. So they put it in this month's. I don't see. 
a note or anything. I'll have to go online, but I'm fairly sure. Yeah, the Dark King was last month. So I'm thinking this just was missed and needed to go with last month's book, but it's, oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful page. So very excited about that. I'm gonna definitely carefully slip that into that book. Um, but we have one more item, the pocket book bay. So introducing the fourth book bay in our collection, um, it's Orin from Raven Kennedy's The Plated Prisoner series. That's the one I was trying to think of, Plated Prisoner. That's the Midas retelling I was trying to remember the name of. Love it. She's so pretty. Okay, so here she is just on her own. I love that it's like dual sided in that way. Um, but we're gonna lay her out on the white. Oh, looks so beautiful that way. Absolutely stunning. Ugh. Absolutely love it. Orin is so awesome too. So the artist is at Fern and Amaya. Um, yeah, Ugh. I love those. They're so cool. Uh, so perfect for display or to be used as bookmarks. Retail value is $10. And then the shirt that I did not get um, is The River of Shadows by Karina Hale. The design was at str underscore graphs, retail value between $29 and $32, depending on size. So that was the shirt that I missed off, missed out on. Oh my gosh. But that's it for the goodies. So we do have the behind the box, the special project assistant, Aubrey at Aubrey Bookish. Um helped curate the April box. Uh, what was your favorite item? One of my favorite items is the Radio River of Shadows inspired shirt. I devoured River of, Shad River of Shadows, one of my favorite book selections from 2022. Intricate detail details of this tarot influenced design are phenomenal and I can't wait to wear it. Oh, it was a tarot t-shirt that I might have wanted. Uh, what did you think of Wings Once Cursed and Bound? Wings Once Cursed and Bound is such a captivated story that introduced me to Thai folklore and mythology. Okay, so it's a retelling of Thai folklore. That's awesome. Okay, um, and mythology. It was a delight reading this within the fantasy romance genre. I thoroughly enjoyed the world building and character development. Uh, how has your experience being an assistant curator at Bookish Box been so far? My experience has been life-changing working for Bookish especially on the curation team has really allowed me to shoot for the stars when I have ideas or inspiration. I enjoy being able to work with a team of extraordinary creatives and make bookish dreams come true. Love that. And then we have the crossword, which gives you the vibes of the upcoming May box. So <laughs> the next one that I will be getting hopefully really soon. Um, and yeah, it's a cute little magazine all wrapped up and then here we go we've got my dog barking at the neighbors again most likely and our lovely items so excited about this month's box can't wait for my may one and my june one <laughs> um but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye